One zero, the bottom one. Newton's second law is at stake. Newton's third law is at stake. The whole world is at stake. Something is not working. I increased tension here. This one didn't break. This one's stronger, perhaps. No, I don't cheat on you. I'm not a ma magician. I want to teach you physics. Did we overlook something? You know, I'll give you a second chance. We'll do it again. Let's have another vote. So I'll give you a chance to change your mind. There's nothing wrong in life changing your mind. It's one of the greatest things that you can do. What do you think will happen now? Who is in favor still of the top one? Seeing is believing. You still insist on the top one. Who is now in favor of the bottom one? Ah, many of you got converted, right? Okay. There we go. Three, two, one, zero. Top one broke. So some of you were right. Now I'm getting so confused. I can't believe it anymore. First we argued that the top one should break, but it didn't. The bottom one broke. Then we had another vote, and then the top one broke. Is someone pulling our leg? I suggest we do it one more time. I suggest we do it one more time, and whatever is going to happen, that's the winner. If the top one breaks, that's the winner. The bottom one breaks, well, then we have to accept that. But I want you to vote again. I want you to vote again on this decisive measurement, whether the top one will break first or the bottom one. Who is in favor of the top one? Many of you are scared, right? You're not voting anymore. <laughs> I can tell you're not voting. Who is in favor of the bottom one? Only ten people are voting. <laughs> Let's do this in an undemocratic way. You may decide. What's your name? Alisa? Georgia, close enough. <laughs> you may decide whether the top one or the bottom one. Isn't that great? Doesn't give you a fantastic amount of power?